Okay. Welcome to Tasting Wine. I'm Haley. I'm Toth. Today we're going to taste some wine. Um, we are trying Danza del Sol uh, 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from Temecula Valley. Woo! Yeah, we've had this before. I grew up in Temecula, so I already knew to decant it just because, uh, I don't know, we just like... We've had a lot of this wine. We've had a lot, yeah, we, we've had a lot of this wine. So it's been in the decanter for about an hour. Yeah, so they call this one Cab Savage because it's just that good. Really and it gets you loopy pretty quick, <laughs> which yeah, I appreciate. 14.4% 14. 4, 14 .4 produced and bottled by State Grown, Danza del Sol. Uh, they have 40 acres in... Temecula, it's on the De Portola wine trail. Mm. Um, I've been to like a bunch of the, the wineries in Temecula and this one's probably like one of my favorite ones. It's a little bit smaller, super beautiful. Uh, they got super nice views. They always got events and live music and things like that going on, so. But, what it's, do you think? It's always like nice to hang out at too. They have like live music outside. Oh yeah. They have great views. Cool place, oh. awesome staff. Yeah, their staff is super friendly. Oh man, this just smells like a classic cat. You get like that little, oh, yeah. little bit of like the wood, the oak, it's berries. Yeah, some, some black some, cherry. Some jamminess, black cherry, yeah. Some, maybe some red currants. Maybe even a little pomegranate. Mm -hmm. Can you lay down? Lay down. 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 Wait, there we go. I'm also getting over being sick, so my smelling capabilities aren't the best right now. You need some, some spice or something, huh? I just, I mean, I could sit here and smell this all day. Yeah. That's so good. This does remind me kind of of, yeah, like rhubarb jam or maybe like raspberry jam. Yeah. Want you on track? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. It's got, still got a little bit of bite. I think it's still opening up a little bit. It's got a little bit yep. of tannic up front. Yeah. Other than that, bite. it's super well rounded. A nice, just even, yes. full body, I'd say, right? Yeah. Okay. This is just such a good wine. Yeah. Like when I drink this, I'm like, classic California cab. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, to make you value, like, they're still coming up. You know, there's a lot of decent wine, there's a lot of bad wine. And I think this is like on, like, you know, the better end of it. So seeing something come out of like your hometown is just kind of cool. So I am a little partial, but. Uh, I do really like this one, so. It's nice, it has like a good balance between kind of like sweet and sour. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of reminds me of Twizzlers, but like the nibs, not like the, I mean, let's be real. The long Twizzlers are disgusting. The nibs are where it's at. The nibs are where it's at as well. Yeah. They come in a little baggy. Oh God, so good. My mom loves those nibs. Yeah, this reminds me of the nibs. I was gonna say, last time she was here, she left a bunch. <laughs> she did, she left just an entire container of nibs. Yeah. <laughs> These will not get eaten, but... <laughs> oh, man. Man, what would you eat this with? Um, oh, well, I mean, the thing that just popped into my mind, because every time we go to Danza del Sol, we always bring, like, an extravagant smorgasbord, cornucopia, cornucopia, if you will, of, like, meats, cheeses, hummus, yeah. tapenade. Quality cheese board. Yeah. I mean, this is, like, a back porch wine. Could just kind of sit outside. Yeah. Oh, top knot. This yeah. would go good with some, or like a like a puttanesca. That would be really good with this for sure. Yeah, I can't complain. I think this is their probably their best year of 2014. The thing I like about them is they don't like release their wines like they they like give them time like to mature in the barrel. Mm -hmm or in stainless steel tanks, and then they bottle them and they like sit them down and lay them down for like a little bit. Like they just released a 2015, like it's 2019 now, you know? So you see some of these wines that come out the year you know, prior, like one or two years back, and it's just like, is it ready yet? I don't know. But yeah. I do like that, because it's almost like it is a little bit more established, like, and you're not holding on to it like at your own home and your wine fridge and your cellar, like wherever it may be. Do you have anything else on the taste? Anything else? I think I got like a little, little vanilla. And some spice that I'm trying to put my finger on. Maybe it's like nutmeg? Could be. I don't know. Nutmeg, I'd have to go and smell some nutmeg to be honest. Yeah. 
Nutmeg is pretty pungent, pretty powerful though. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying like a hint. Honestly, I get a little bit of like pepper, you know? Like black pepper? Black pepper, I don't know, maybe. I mean, it's definitely, it's a spice, but it tastes more like a peppery spice to me than a, like a nutmeg spice. Hmm. I don't know, this just reminds me of just like having a bunch of fresh, ripe fruit and berries and you're just kind of like, you know, chomping down on them or making like, I don't know, fruit salad. I don't like fruit salads, mm. but yeah, kind of reminds me of that. This almost has like a smell of like when you open up a can. Ooh, oh my God. Okay, I haven't had that much wine. <laughs> Like when you open up a can, it's almost like that like metal kind of smell. So maybe if I'm picking that up, maybe it's like some sort of like mineral or earth people, tones. People say pencil shavings on things. I don't, I, I have to go and smell some pencil shavings. I got some in my shop, but uh, I don't know. I think we just don't, honestly, we gotta get one of those smell kits. We really should. Gotta, gotta broaden our horizon here. Yeah, this is berries and Twizzler nibs for me. Super, super, super hint of vanilla, maybe a little nutmeg, but that's more on the finish. Cool. Well, I'm gonna hang out with this one for a while, so. Oh yeah. I know it's only gonna get better and better. Yeah. We're done. We're done. We're done. Uh, well, get out there, try some wine. Let us know what you try. If you try anything new, let us know. Uh, we'll try it. Yeah, and, or, and let us know what else to try, because you know we're on this journey, we wanna try all these different wines, so. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching Tasting Wine. Yeah. Go taste wine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>